It may have been a butterfly that first started me thinking seriously about biology. It was early spring. I was perhaps 12 or 13 years old and sitting in the garden when a quivering yellow butterfly flew over the fence. It turned, hovered and briefly settled, just long enough for me to notice the elaborate veins and spots on its wings. Then a shadow disturbed it and it took flight again, disappearing over the opposite fence. That intricate, perfectly formed butterfly made me think. It was both utterly different to me and yet somehow familiar too. Like me, it was so obviously alive. It could move, it could sense, it could respond. It seemed so full of purpose. I found myself wondering, what does it really mean to be alive? In short, what is life? I have been thinking about this question for much of my life, but finding a satisfactory answer is not easy. Perhaps surprisingly, there is no standard definition of life, although scientists have wrestled with this question across the ages. Even the title of this book, What is Life?, has been shamelessly stolen from a physicist, Erwin Schrödinger, who published an influential book of the same name in 1944. His main focus was on one important aspect of life, how living things maintained such impressive order and uniformity for generation after generation in a universe that is, according to the second law of thermodynamics, constantly moving towards a state of disorder and chaos, 